Greetings and welcome to Christmas at Grace Cathedral live stream, where we are celebrating God's greatest gift. Friend, for God so loved the world that he gave Jesus. And tonight, we seek to honor the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Reverend Chris Mockaber. And I'm Reverend Steve Millar. And you will enjoy a one hour live stream of traditional Christmas carols and Christmas songs written by individuals in our music department. We seek to honor and glorify God with these talents, as well as share the message of Jesus with people all over the world. And through today's technology, we have a very small world we live in. We are connecting with people all over the world, and that includes preachers, pastors, evangelists, even prison chaplains, as we seek to bless their ministries, to help their people in communities. Yes, dear friend, we have a great celebration in store for you tonight. And if you enjoy this live stream, I want to encourage you, like it, hit the thumbs up button, hit the heart button, and by all means, share with your friends. And if you would like to make a comment about a certain song or a certain group, feel free to share. We love to hear from you. We like to welcome everybody that's watching on Facebook and YouTube, and those of you that are listening on Ernest Angley World Radio. Now we have two songs by Angels Grace Cathedral Choir, and the first one is O oh Holy Night.
We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts, we travel afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star you enjoyed Angels Grace Cathedral Choir. This time I'd like to take a moment to welcome new viewers and listeners to our Christmas celebration. Those of you who are listening by World Radio, those of you who are watching by Facebook and YouTube, welcome. We hope you enjoy yourselves and if you do like this live stream, hit the thumbs up button, the heart button, and by all means, leave a comment. Tell us who you are, where you're from, and maybe you enjoy a particular song. Maybe you have a favorite group. Tell us about it. We'd love to hear from you. Well, at this time, I want to speak to you a moment about our junior church department at Grace Cathedral. From a very young age, we seek to teach our children about Jesus. Also, we seek to develop and cultivate their talents to be used for the glory of God, and to be a blessing in our services. In fact, we have two youth choirs. We also have three youth handbell groups, one of which is with us right now. Hello, everybody. Hello. Is everybody ready to play for Jesus tonight? Yeah. Let's hear your bells. Give it a ring. <laughs> All right. That sounds good. I think they're ready, Steve. Yes, they are. And as you notice that the bells here, they have different colors. And when Miss Carrie, the director, shows up a card that maybe it's red, then, then she would ring her red bell. Now each bell has, different, each different color bell has, uh, plays a different note, which combined together makes a song. 
And as you know that after they graduate from this group, they go on to the angel chimes where they can read music. They learn how to read music. Now I can't read music. Can you read music, Reverend Mockamer? No, that's a foreign language to me. So that means that we would be in this bell group. Well, I want to ask them a couple questions so we can get educated a little bit. So what is your favorite bell? Light blue. What is the hardest bell to ring? Red. Now, the red bell, you know, for someone that has an untrained, you know, eye on, look, all bells look the same. Why is the red bell the hardest bell? Because you have to look for red with the black dot in the middle. Oh, that's a special bell. Okay. Now, how long have you been playing the bells? Four years. Four years. Would you consider yourself a professional? Yes. Now, being a professional, what divides, what is the time frame from a professional to an amateur? Would it be like two years or three years before you become a professional? Maybe three. Three, okay, three. Now, are you considered a good bell ringer? Yeah. Okay. Now, could we see you ring your bells? <coughs> now, I want you to, now do it really hard, okay? Okay. Now, you have good form, and I noticed how you had two different bells, and you have pretty good technique. But I noticed that you were really ringing this bell with this hand. Now, would you consider that your signature move? Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Well, now we're, now we're ready to go, and what's the name of the song? Go tell it on the mountain. Yes, well, that's what we're gonna hear tonight. So let's just go ahead and listen to them play Go Tell It on the Mountain. Wonderful job by the Jesus Joy Bells. And welcome, friends. We're so glad you have joined us on this live stream tonight. We've already received a few comments back. Christina from West Virginia is joining us, Liz from Canada, Martha from Canada, and Sunil from India. And we're so glad you're celebrating Christmas with us tonight. And we love to hear from more of you again. Give us your name, where you're from, and leave a comment. I'd like to tell you a story about the Jesus Joy Bells. This lady was telling us how her grandmother was in a nursing home. And the Jesus Joy Bells came in, and they performed at this nursing home. And at the end of their performance, they gave everybody, all the residents, an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ 
into their heart. Well, this lady's grandmother accepted Jesus into her heart. Not many days later, she went on and went to heaven. This lady was so happy that the Jesus joy bells were there that night or that day at the nursing home and that her grandmother received Jesus. Friend, don't ever underestimate what a child can do when God is able to work through them. And these Jesus joy bells are very special to us and we're blessed to have them. Reverend Mockermer, would you like to hear them again? Love to. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and play again. Christmas 
from God by the Holy Soul Trio. I hope you enjoyed that song. And friend, we'd love to hear from you, who you are, where you're from, what songs you're enjoying, what groups you're enjoying. We are very interested in hearing. In fact, we have a few more. Sean from West Virginia, welcome. We're glad you're watching. Kim from Ontario, Canada. Carol from Florida, we're glad you're with us. Rebecca from Ohio and Dennis from Kenya, East Africa. We're so glad you are watching tonight. See, do you remember Christmas as a child, opening gifts on Christmas morning? I do, and I loved it. So did I. <laughs> well, I want our viewers and listeners to think back a moment to your childhood, getting up early on Christmas morning, running to the tree. And I know there were times at Christmas that you were looking for a particular gift. You were hoping for that one special item above all others that you would get for Christmas. Well, do you remember when you would open that gift and you realized it was yours? That gift, as a child, it became the center of your attention, the focus of your Christmas. Well, friend, children of God, we receive so many blessings and benefits from our Heavenly Father but we must always be mindful of our greatest gift, Jesus Christ. He 
must always be our focus, the center of our attention, all the time. We must never let anyone or anything come before Jesus. After all, it's Jesus from whom all our blessings and benefits flow from the Heavenly Father. Jesus is our abundant life on earth. He is our eternal life in heaven. And we must treasure this special gift God gave us. And because we freely receive this gift, we have the opportunity to freely share him with others. Yes, and our Sunday school department celebrated by having a Christmas play. And the title of the Christmas play was The Little Drummer Boy. And then it was basically a play, the Christmas story, through the eyes of the little drummer boy. And many of these young people here played a part in the play. And what part did you play? Um, I played the innkeeper's wife and a shepherd. And what was your favorite part of the play? My favorite part of the play has to be when the shepherd sang, Do You Hear What I Hear, after they discovered the star. Oh, that's wonderful. And what part of the play were you in? I was Jesus. Okay. And I remember, you know, when Jesus was carrying the cross, how did that make you feel, carrying the cross and being Jesus? Um, it humbled me and it made me feel very thankful because I was able to portray what Jesus went through when he died on the cross and gave us, a, gave us a second chance to go to heaven. It was a very emotional play and I can tell you that there was many tears shed on that play and just how the kids put so much into it. I mean, it was just a beautiful play and a lot of people loved it. What is the meaning of Christmas for you? Um, to me, Christmas means Jesus because without him, none of us could have eternal life. And what song are you guys going to sing tonight? We're going to sing, Oh Come All Ye Faithful. Well, let's go ahead and hear it.
Bethlehem, in Bethlehem. A baby was born. Baby was born. Come and see the little king. Little king. Oh, what great love! Oh, what love. And down from above. from above. Listen to the angels sing. The star shining.
It's a beautiful song, and you know, Reverend Mockmer, that song was written over 200 years ago. I remember when I was a young child, and it was Christmas time, and I really didn't know God. I was just focused on the presence. But when, when I went over to Africa on a mission trip, and I was able to hand out gifts to the little orphans, I watched them take their gifts, put them in a pile, stand around them, hold hands, bow their heads, and thank God for the gift that they received. 
At that time, I felt about this big because I never thank God for the gifts that I received at Christmas time. We should always thank God for the gifts that we receive. That's a wonderful lesson indeed. Friend, in just a moment you will hear living waters perform angels we have heard on high medley. But first, I want to acknowledge some of our viewers, Jamie here in Akron, Ohio, as well as Tamika, Bob in Uniontown, Sydney in Kentucky, Jerry in Puerto Rico, Stephen in Moscow, Russia, where it's 4 a.m. right now, Harry in Alaska, Stephen in Florida, Doug in Florida. We're so glad you're with us celebrating Jesus. But friend, remember, it was the angels who gave the first witness of Jesus' birth. What was their message to the shepherds? Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. You see, friend, this is what Jesus brought with him to earth, heaven's joy, heaven's peace to all who would accept him into their lives. And if you're watching tonight, and maybe your life is empty inside, you lack that joy and that peace. It's in Jesus, God's great love gift to you. And at the end of this live stream, you will have an opportunity to pray with me, to receive this wonderful love gift and all of its benefits into your life. But first we have more Christmas songs coming up. And right now it's Living Waters with Angels we have heard on high medley. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Come and adore Join him in the mountains. The world. 
now of Christmas, no will sing we hear. Hear our grateful praises to the babe so dear. Sing we know oh, well, the King is born no Thank you. 
Christ is here. Suddenly with great jubilation, a heavenly host emerged, singing and praising the Lord. Peace on earth. Glorify, glorify, glorify the Christ child. Prosperity. None could expect such a humble birth. A king wouldn't enter like this. But a servant they found who had laid down his crown. Glorify, glorify, glorify the Christ child. Christ child is born, angels rejoicing the name Jesus. What a holy, sacred time it was. No one else could bring eternal life. The Messiah has to all of the nations. A ruler shall lift up the name and proclaim Jesus. Glorify, glorify, glorify the Christ child has come. Magnify, magnify, magnify God's newborn son. song by the cathedral trio friend we must remember to glorify jesus for all that he's done for us for the great sacrifice he made two thousand years ago remember jesus he laid aside his power and glory in heaven wrapped himself in weak human flesh to live and dwell among humanity he stepped off his throne of glory to be born in an ox stall and laid in a manger. Jesus, he left behind him in heaven, the love and adoration of his father and all the inhabitants, only to come to this earth, to be despised and rejected of men, to become a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. The great king of glory humbled himself he came to this earth to serve humanity, heaven's greatness. Friend, Jesus died on a cross that you could live forever. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but 
the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to right now offer you this gift of Jesus Christ. Friend, receive the gift right now. Maybe you're one watching, listening. You once possessed this gift, but as time went on, you became careless and negligent and you tossed it aside. And now you regret that and you want this gift back in your life. Well, friend, I'm here to say the Bible declares the Lord is married to the backslider. He loves you and he wants you to receive this gift again. Pray this prayer with me right now and mean it with your heart. Say, oh God, I thank you for sending Jesus into this world. Your gift to me and right now, I open my heart's door and I gladly receive this gift into my life. And I believe the power in the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sin. Say, come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my heart, Jesus. Amen. And friend, if you meant that prayer, Jesus is yours. And now, at this time, I'd like to pray over all of our viewers and listeners a blessing upon your life in the year to come. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bring every viewer, every listener before you now. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for our blessings and benefits. And now, O oh Lord, anoint each viewer in a mighty way. Let your holy anointing rest upon them now for the year to come. Keep them in good health. Guide them and protect them. Lead each one in your divine will. And may their Jesus light shine brighter than ever in the year to come. For your honor and glory, in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Well, at this time, I'd like to have my wife, Kathy, and Reverend Machmer's wife, Maria, to come out. And I'd also like to thank all the viewers for tuning in tonight. What a huge blessing that was to have them, like Pin from China, or Makili from Republic of, of the Congo. It's a pleasure to have you tune in, and what a blessing to be a part of this great outreach. And now at this time, we would like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.